So we've been plugging away at the CR10S Pro here. I've got a 12064 LCD from our shop in here. Uh, this is a STL I found on Thingiverse, and we're going to end up making our own. This isn't a bad design, but it works, so that's what we're using for prototyping. But if you see, I turn on the printer, and we have the TH3D firmware on here. And we are going to have the Easy ABL Pro supported. We're just trying to figure out the final routing lengths and how we're going to mount the sensor wire, because obviously we don't want this flapping about. So we're going to make up some cable clips for this to secure this to here. And we're going to have a full installation video since this printer is a little more complicated than your typical machines. But you can see here the touch LCD is completely disabled. But I just want to post an update here that we got it working. Uh, we got a little prototype adapter board here. I just sent off the final designs to our PCB assembler so we can actually use this. Because if you plug this LCD into the factory headers without the adapter board, it will not light up unless you go ahead and bridge oh where are they bridge these two solder jumpers six r66 and r64 now i know a lot of people are not comfortable soldering with these so that's why we're going to have this little adapter board which those pins that would be jumped are on this cable so we're going to put out an adapter board that will route those data lines over to the lcd so it works correctly with absolutely zero soldering. So we're a couple weeks out on this. I uh, didn't forget about you guys. And then once this machine is done, since so this has this different board, you can expect support for the CRX and the, and the Ender 5 Plus shortly after this. And we're going to support it without the factory LCD. We're going to have it only supported on this screen right now because it's going to be, able, well, it's going to be a lot quicker to get this running versus trying to make these work and then you still don't have all the features that you do with this. For example, you can do baby stepping. So if I was printing, I'd be able to press this twice and then we'll get a baby stepping menu which you can live adjust your Z. Now there is buttons for live adjust Z on some of these and you can hack them, but it's not the same. Uh, one of the things I don't like about the touch LCDs is you don't have all these different options. You don't have all your motion controls, your velocity, your acceleration, your jerk, your steps per millimeter. Um, you don't have all these options that you do with this style LCD that you have on the touch because it's very limited. Um, you can't do PID tuning. You can't do all these other settings that you can with this screen. Just because the touch screen looks nice doesn't mean it's better. Um, this LCD gives you way more functionality than these will, and because Creality locked the firmware down on these because these are not open source, we can't do much with them. Now, Tiny Machines, if you guys have played with the Tiny Machines firmware, has done a lot, but it's still not the same experience. Like, this is what you want on these printers to get the full functionality out of your machine. So I wanted to post a quick update, let you guys know where we're at. Um, we're going to have Ender 5 Plus here on the way in about a week or two. We're just waiting to get a quote back from our Creality rep. Uh, another thing I saw, you guys might want to check on your machines on the CR10S Pro. They have this. This is a DC to DC SSR. I've been seeing a lot of posts of these burning up, and it's because if you look, it's not actually heat synced to the board. Um, and by the board, I mean the metal board here, the back plate. Um, these should be heat synced, but because they're not, I've been seeing a lot of people that have had these printers for a couple months now. The SSRs are burning up, um, and you can actually use. We sell a MOSFET. And the MOSFET will replace this SSR, so you could go that route. But just keep an eye on this and make sure this thing is not overheating, because I've seen a couple of these burn up. Um, all in all, though, these have Meanwhile Power Supply, so these are solid. Um, and we're going to do a full install, guy, because you're going to have to, like, unscrew a bracket uh, for adding our ABL sensor. You have to unscrew a bracket, do the LCD conversion, but we're going to have a full kit. All the cables, the screws, the wires, um, the cable clips, everything. So it's going to be a nice package for this printer. Um, and then we're going to put together packages for the LCD conversions for the CRX and the CR and sorry, the Ender 5 Plus. Um, so we can actually get a regular LCD on here that has all the features that we want and need to use our printer. So anyways, hope you guys like this little update. Sorry for the shitty cell phone video and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.